Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and I'm going to try to show some of the things that I have got as Happy Mail lately. Now, please don't think that you need to send me Happy Mail. I have got tons and tons. I really don't need anything. I appreciate everything, but I don't need anything. But these are some people that have generously shared their stash with me, and I wanted to show it now. Some of the items I'm not going to be able to remember who sent them to me because, as you recall, I did a video a couple of weeks ago showing those items, and I thought the video was okay. When I tried to upload it, it was corrupted, and I had already, you know, separated all those items out and put them away, so I, I don't know exactly who sent me what, but, and then I do have some people that just, they don't mind me showing it, but they don't want me to tell their name on camera, and that's fine, too. This came from, and I don't, she doesn't say that I can't tell her name on here. She did send me a little note, but this is from Brenda Brown. She sent me some laces. She shared some of her lace and things with me. Get that, isn't that pretty? I love that, that right there. That is gorgeous. Then some of the, the eyelet lace. And then this is like a, oh, it's a, it's in a, it's like a cotton lace, but it's in this little protective film there. That's good. And then here are some different laces, too. Those are pretty. Those will be pretty on the edge of a journal page. And then, oh, there's some things in here, too. She made a little envelope. That's cute. And she put a couple of these little flowers in there, lace flowers. Those are pretty. And she has been using her junk mail envelopes. There is some... Uh, a couple of cards in that one that she has made. Cute. And then this one with the teacup. And let's see, it's got a card in it. If I can get a hold of it. Oh, that's cute. It's very cute. Like that. Thank you so much, Brenda. That's so sweet of you to share these things with me and to make these goodies. I appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Now, someone sent a uh, two-inch punch, and there was no name in it. I think I know who sent it, but I'm going to give this one to Melina because I do have a two-inch punch. So this one will go to her. Thank you so much. Now, let's see who this is from. Okay, this is from Stacy, Devoted Watcher, she says. All right, she sent me a piece that she made, looks like. Okay, Edith, turn it the right way up. So, I think this is a belly band. Yes, I think it's a belly band, and it's got... See if I can get it untied without having to cut it. That would not be good. All right, it's a belly band, and it's got... Some paper inside that folds out. Isn't that neat? Then you can journal on that. And then it looks like it's got a little pocket right here. With some tags in there. Let's see. There's one tag. And I think there's another one down here. Yep. Another tag. Isn't that cute? That's a great idea. Thank you so much. I love that folding out. The paper folding out like that. So thank you, Stacy. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Now, I got a box from, this is from Mary. Uh, let me turn it around. Let's see. Yeah, this is from Mary in Texas. Now, I, she didn't tell me in here that I couldn't say her name, so I have said it. <laughs> Hopefully, it's okay. I told you guys I got in trouble one time for saying somebody's name on camera, and they didn't appreciate it too much so if you don't want me to tell your name just tell me but you have to tell me ahead of time before I open your box so she sent me a box of goodies I'm just gonna pull it all out and then we'll go through it Oops. her card got stuck under the bottom I'm not gonna show her address there and let's see Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. She said she sent me a gift. Looks like she sent me many gifts. So, it's going to be a little 
like that little butterfly closure there. Let's see what this is. This is use me as a bookmark. Hmm. Okay, I really don't know what this is. <laughs> Note pals. I think I'm gonna have to cut it to get into it. It's stuck way down in there and it's hard to get into it. Oh, I see. Oh. How cute. Those are neat. Thank you. And then some bling. Very pretty. Let's see. Okay, I have no idea what that says, but that's a pretty paper, isn't it? Mm, I like that outline. Very pretty. These will make really good pockets for a journal, these colorful pages. And these are from a magazine, I'm sure. Very cute. Thank you. Oh, and this bag is just full of goodies. Go ahead and dump it out here so that I can get to it. There's some metal book corners. There's a little wooden spatula. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and then some, I guess these are little flowers. Yeah, some little teeny tiny flowers. I guess that's what you would use that little spatula for. And then some little wooden butterflies. A piece of very unusual paper there. Some other little pieces of paper. Let's see. Ooh la la sugar scrubs. I don't know where that come from. But anyway, we're going to, we'll see in just a minute. Let's get all of these pieces together. There's another butterfly. Okay, these are vintage guest checks. Put that over there. She sent some extra cards. And then some pieces of paper. Some napkins. Look at that old car. Those are cute napkins. And let's see. Looks like she might have made this. Very cute notebook. That'd be good to just stick in your purse. Butterflies. Oh, look at these snowflakes. Those are cute. And let's see what's in here. Another wrapped up package. Put this over here so I'll know that I've already opened that. Let's see. I think this is just a big pack of ephemera. Of all different kinds of ephemera. Yeah, little booklets, little journal cards. There's some tea, tea bags or tea packets. Well, those that's got tea in it, those do. So very nice, thank you. Let's open this other one here. You notice I don't try to save the, <laughs> I just wanna get into the package. I don't try to save the outside. Oh, these some nice journaling cards and things in here. So thank you. And let's see. Let's pull this back up here before I forget about it. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Some stickers. There's some Halloween stickers. Some beautiful lace. That's a good size, too. You can use those for pockets. And then some lace. And then I guess this is a fabric. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? We can use that for pockets, too. And then these are more of the book pages that you can use. I, I use these book pages for everything. They're very, very neat to use. Oh, look at these. These are in a different language. Wow, that's neat. Cool. Some grammar school paper. That's neat. I haven't seen that before classroom checklist and then that's like a proposal sheet let's look at that some butterflies another napkin with bunnies cute oh it's not what's under the tree that matters it's who's gathered around it that's cute we wish you a mooey christmas 
Very cute. Let's see what's in here. Oh my goodness. What are these? Those are little bunny paper clips. Those are cute. And then some flowers in a little CD case. Very cute. And then... Not sure what's in here. Gold leaf paper. Okay. Oh, I see. It's on the other side. Look at that. Gold leaf paper. Oh, it's very fragile. I do remember that much about gold leaf paper. Very, very fragile. But you can put your glue or something down and you can uh, put that on your page and it'll stick. If it has glue or embossing powder to stick to. Some envelopes, some cards. Very cute. Thank you. We'll use all of these. This is a haul and a half, isn't it? Those are cute. I haven't seen those before. Very cute. Thank you so much. All right. That is the goodies from... Who did I say this was from? That is the goodies from Mary. So, Mary, thank you so much for all of this. I appreciate it so much. Now, I got this and more from a sweet friend of mine. She prefers that her name not be mentioned on camera, and that's fine. It's all sorts of thread in here. Look at that. I don't think I'll ever run out of thread. Ever, ever. <laughs> she also sent me some velour. I guess that's velour. And satin scrap material. So, I didn't have either one of those. So, she sent me some of that. A whole bag full. Then she sent me some of her laces and trims. And I think a lot of this, she said, if I'm not mistaken, came was passed down to her from her mother and maybe grandmother. So lots of laces and trims in there. And then I don't know what's in this one. We shall see. I think all of this is, well, we'll just look at it. I'm not sure what all this is. So, we've got, see what we have in here. These are some different ephemera pieces. And more little ephemera pieces in there. And then this, ooh, this is interesting. I don't know what this is. It's like a washi tape. It's just got that on it. That is neat. We can, ooh, I love to use that at the bottom of my flowers. These are some cross-stitch fabric. That's cross-stitch fabric. And these are some old patterns. We love old patterns. These are some doilies and different things that, you know, maybe her grandmother or mother or maybe she made these. I'm not sure, but aren't they cute? All sorts. Look at that. Look at that flower. Pansy. Very cute. A lot of somebody took a lot of time making those, that's for sure. So pretty. Thank you so much. Look at that. There is all sorts in here. Cute. Thank you. Thank you. Put that in there. And then this is. And then this is like a piece of her junk mail, I guess. And it's got beautiful flowers and things in it. I'm not going to turn it over because her name and address is on the other side. So then this is personalized banner. So these are little banners. That's cute. Here again, some more banners. Oh, look at that. That's a very vintage piece. I remember seeing that. This is actually out there on the web that you can download and use in digitals. This image right here. That is neat. Let's see. Well, it's got a barcode, so it's maybe not be that old, but it says Victorian Trading Company. Very cute. Thank you. And then it looks like this has got all sorts in here. Um, she said that she got 
lots of things at her thrift store and then you know different places so she wanted to share with me i've never seen a post-it note in that color <laughs> and then these are always useful because you know me i forget what i'm going to talk about so sometimes i make me little notes <laughs> and let's see this is a receipt book oh that's that's got to be pretty old that's neat let's see what this is Well, they stapled that to something. Okay, let's see. This, yeah, oh, these are the, like, 25 cents. These are the little stickers that, like, when you used to have yard sales and things, you could put that on there. And then, what are these? These are... Maybe a little file folder like things. Or just a little notebook to put in a little notebook. That's cute. That'll be useful. Look at that. This is... That's a... Handkerchief. And it's on this dress looking thing. And it's got a little hanger at the top. That is neat. The Luray dress. Luray dress. Oh, and then this is a cross-stitch pattern. That's going to be fun to play with. I haven't had any of those around in a long, long time. So that is one package that she sent me. Now, she sent me more, but it was in the collection of things that I've already done a video on. So I'll do another one on that and let you guys see what all is in that one. If I can remember which pieces she gave me and which pieces somebody else did. But I will try my best. Okay, a sweet friend of mine, Gloria, and I don't think she minds me mentioning her name on camera. She didn't tell me not to. She sent me tons of ledger pages. Now, in the other video that I did, I showed a lot of ledgers that she sent me. But then she also sent me these ledger pages. And these are actually written on. I love ledger pages anyway, no matter what. But I love the ones that are already written on. Look at this handwriting. It's so good. I don't know if she did this. I think she said her husband was an accountant that had retired. And some of these may have been his. But the writing is very, very neat. But she sent me lots and lots of ledger pages. So I will never run out of ledger pages. Let me show you from the, the side. Look at that. I love them. Thank you so much, Gloria. And I will be showing you the other ones that she also sent me uh, very, very soon. I'll, I'll grab those out and see if I can pull all that back together. Like I said, it I did it in the other video and it kind of got corrupted, but I'll see what I can do. These also, this um, ribbon also came from the person that I showed a little bit ago that had rather me not mention her name, but she sent me this little... All these rolls of ribbon. There are five rolls in here. Isn't that pretty? Okay, Gloria also sent these. And I think these are called Project Life Cards. You know, I did a project with them not long ago. But she evidently had a ton of them. And she sent some of these to Melina and I. So we'll be doing some projects with those before long. She sent a bunch. A bunch. Thank you so much, Gloria. I appreciate that. So we will be using those and making some things out of them before long. This next item that I'm going to show you, I don't remember exactly who sent it to me because it was in the other video that I did and all of that has already been all mixed up. But you remember me talking about cod liver oil <laughs> not too long ago on one of my videos because I saw it on a little tab. Well, she decided she would send me this. <laughs> This brings back too many bad memories of my mother forcing this stuff down my throat when I was little. But look at that. I mean, that is vintage. That is old. That is old. There's no telling how old this bottle is. It is very, very old. I'm going to look it up and see if I can re if it's, see if I can tell by the fish on here just exactly how old this bottle is. It doesn't have a date or anything on it. But yeah, this is exactly the bottle that my mother had that she decided to 
shove yuck down our throat. This stuff tasted horrible. I will not open the top because it'll bring back too many bad memories because I'm sure it still smells just like it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you so much for that, for that, <laughs> for that memory. I appreciate that. Now, I also received this sweet sewing machine from a person that um, she would rather me not tell her name on video, so I won't. But isn't this adorable? Now, this is going to be small enough that I'm going to be able, I think, to stitch here on the video. I don't think I'm going to have to try to set up another camera in the other position. Um, I think it, it should work fine. It looks just like the larger one that I received. So I'm going to play around with it a little bit, hook it up, and then see, you know, if I can do some videos from here. Now, I might have to turn my camera a little bit to get you a, a shot of the needle and everything and how I position it, but we can do that. So I appreciate that. It is not, I, I had mentioned on a video, and I said it was itty bitty. It's not itty bitty. It's a pretty good size, actually. Pretty good size. So I'm anxious to get that hooked up and start playing around with it. So thank you so, so much. You know who you are. Now, there are other items that I'm going to put on a separate video because I'm going to have to go and pull those back out from the little places that I tucked them away when I did the other video. So I will do it on a separate video because it'll take me some time to pull all those out and kind of put them together. But that's this video. Thank you so much for the Happy Meal. I appreciate it. Please don't think that you have to send me anything. I've got plenty. My kids are going to disown me if I keep collecting things. So I have got plenty, believe me. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.